Ladies and gentlemen, the biggest mistake in the universe here, Hiccup, that's me, evidently you probably know, <laughs> um, I want to explain I did not get the chance to put up the video for the 20th for the Donald Tration Trump shit, you know, unfortunately my equipment was not exactly too well with working with guitar and computer, gotta find a way around it or work with it better, I tried three times, so I'm doing an open mic night. Not here, but regardless, I'm doing an open mic and thought, well, why not do some some advice from this mistake so you can learn and not be a mistake like me. So, number one, you know, and this isn't any order, by the way. One, make sure whatever equipment you have works before you leave. If you bring your guitar and it's not working at all, you're shit out of luck. Make sure you have a backup guitar, or you can use somebody else's guitar beforehand. It's always good to try to prepare. You know? Two, bring a small thing of guitar tools with you. If you don't have them, buy them at a guitar shop or music store or online or wherever. That way, if any small things come you know, wrong with your guitar, like, for example, the output jack, right? It comes loose. Oh, shit. What am I going to screw it with? I don't have any freaking nails. Can I use a pick? You know, it always comes in handy. And those little Allen wrenches come in handy with it, too. So, another thing, if you're playing an open mic, right? Bring a pencil and maybe, and also a Sharpie. You see, if you bring those things and no one brings a pencil, hey, you're the man with a plan. You got it covered. Um, batteries. If you have something that requires batteries, distortion pedal, um, or any pedal at all that takes a battery, bring an extra battery. So if that doesn't work, or it dies in the middle, guess what? You can have a backup like that. You don't have to go screwing around for, oh my god, who's got a battery, or go out to wherever and, you know, lose time, lose fun. Um, another thing, which brings me to the uh, thing of cables. If you're gonna bring one cable, bring two. If you're going to bring two cables, bring three. Now, here's the reason for that. If by any chance your cable, one of your cables quits, doesn't work, or stops working, you have an extra. Plus, if another uh, musician is having that issue, you can actually help them out as well. You know, just because we're musicians, we think we're the best fucking player wherever, you know, that's just stereotypical, sorry. But it's always good to help another musician either way. Um, maybe some extra strings, you know, EA, I'm um, not EA, but EDG, you know, you can't go wrong with an extra G string, <laughs> but, um, little perverted guitar humor, but anyways, um, you, I'm pretty sure you know Tuner and, and a few other things that are pretty much a no-brainer, you know, I mean, you don't want to bring your guitar with it out, being out of tune, you don't have a tuner, you don't, um, make a list of what you will need. I mean, are you playing, you know, oh, and another thing for the pencil, if you have to uh, rearrange or redo your playlist in any way, it will come in handy. So, um, let me see. Um, I think I've covered almost everything. Let me see, battery, cables, equipment work. You know, but anyways, um, if anybody else has any ideas to help other musicians and other, you know, for that travel or, you know, small travel or whatever, like me, uh, leave it in the comment box. You know, I'll definitely be reading it because, hey, just because I'm a mistake doesn't necessarily mean I can't learn a thing or two or more. But then again, that's part of being a mistake. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay tuned up and keep it rocking. And, uh...